Mehbooba Mufti, what would you say about this fatwa issued by the Grand uh, Mufti? Would you condemn it strongly? First of all, I'm really surprised because, you know, it's being, uh, an impression is being created all over our country that Kashmiris are, you know, some Taliban, they don't want their women to sing, though the story is quite different. I mean, we had mm -hmm. great singers like Raj Begum, Zun Begum. At present, we have Shamima Dev Azad, who is a Padam Bhushan, you know. Mm -hmm. We have Kailash Mehra. I mean, uh, singing has always been there, and people really have admired these women for their singing. We have girls who do roof, who sing yes. uh, for their livelihood. It has been happening all the time. I don't know what has suddenly happened. And I'm also, you know, uh, uh, angry about the fact that, you know, if... Uh, it was four days back, some, uh, you know, a TV channel reported that there were threats on this Facebook mm -hmm. uh, for these girls and why the government has not taken any action because we have seen for the last four years uh, minors being slapped with Public Safety Act. Anybody who posts something on the Facebook which the government does not like, they go after them, they arrest them, they uh, put them behind the bars. Yes. And that's not just in Jammu and Kashmir, it's happening around India. And in fact, I just spoke to the chief minister who says he will trace the identity of those online abusers, that he will take action against them. And when I asked him that Mehbooba Mufti says that you don't act, you just tweet, he says, look, her only job is to criticize me. What would you like me to do? Well, the thing is that, you know, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I'm really amused by what he's saying because he wants to blame me for everything. I don't know, I'm so powerful and I'm so influential that I can influence him to this extent. I wish I could do it in a positive manner, but the, uh, um, you know, uh, it is, it is uh, the truth that whenever anything is posted on the Facebook, yes. you know, they go after the boys like anything, but here it has been more than four days now. But except for talking and making, issuing statements, he has done very little about it. No, but Mehbooba but Mufti sa said yes. that, I would like to say that, you know, uh, these, uh, these girls, uh, I, I mean, it is, it is for them, it's their choice, they have made a choice. But uh, I would also request the media, please don't paint Kashmiris, they are the most emancipated people, you know, in the whole country. Mm -hmm. And they have always loved and cherished, we had Laludet, we had Habba Khatun, we had these singers at this point of time. Yes, but so Mehbooba okay, so Mufti, I would like to ask, you know, it's easy for both the chief minister and you to say you will take on online abusers, but why don't you take on the Grand Mufti in a sense that, why isn't action taken against him? Why don't you say that arrest the Grand Mufti for what he said, for threatening these girls in a way? Uh, Omar Abdullah said there's no, he hasn't done a physical threat. Why don't you say arrest the Grand Mufti? Would you say it? Well, see, it's for the government. It's their job. They can take action against anybody. I told you they have been, you know, putting behind the bars 10-year-old children. No, but Who's would... stopping them? They can do anything they feel it's in the fitness of the things. Nobody is stopping them from, you know, doing their duty. But it is, they are very selective. No, but they are is... very selective. Uh, they, they... No, but isn't it true, isn't it true that, the polit that you would be the first as a political opposition to take him on if he also arrested the Grand Mufti as main opposition party leader? Why don't you, you've condemned him and other things. Why don't you say arrest the Grand Mufti if you support that? I have nothing to say to the Grand Mufti. What do, what, what... What, 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 what do I tell him? Because I'm sure the Grand Mufti himself, he must have listened to uh, the, these Raja Begum, to yes, Shimima Azad's no. uh, lovely songs. He must have no, heard but, them throughout his life. No, but, so but, if he's saying something today, it is his domain. domain. No, but, he's a religious head. I'm not an expert on religious, you know, fatwas. No, but, so, but you don't have to be know, an expert. If the government is there, they have power, they have their laws. You know, they can, if they can book 10-year-old uh, children, and put them in the juvenile homes. Who is stopping them going up from going after these people who have threatened these young girls, these young kids? They are not even girls; they are just kids, twelve-year, thirteen-year girls. Isn't that the point that in Kashmir politics, it's easy, as I said, to go after people on Facebook, but it's difficult to go after a religious head like the Grand Mufti, whether it's Omar Abdullah or you. Omar Abdullah has tweeted out condemning him. You've been more circumspect. Oh, it's not about it's. It's not my job to go after you know religious heads or for anybody else. It's the job of the government. We can say we can criticize a statement. We can like a statement. I mean, everybody has a you know right to express their own thoughts. Uh, it is not a binding on anybody. But who is going to take care? Who is going to maintain law and order? It is the job of the government. I mean, you 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 have to see if you are going after very young boys and putting them behind the bars all the yes. time. It, you are used to that. So what is the big deal? Why they did not find out who was doing it on the Facebook? They have not. They have just been issuing statements as if they are in the opposition. 
Right. We are in the opposition. They are in the government. They have to take action. If they feel that they need to take an action against the mufti, they have a reason. Why don't they do it? Agreed. They are in government. It's their job to act. Mehbooba Mufti, thanks very much uh, for joining me this evening. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.